This is Louise for MMA Crazy and we're here with Dennis Siva. Dennis, now this is the first time that you're coming back to your home, uh, Berlin, to fight since 2010, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I came to the first time in Berlin. I was already in the first two Veranstaltungen dabei in Köln and Oberhausen. And Berlin is for me the first time here. Yeah, it's right. It's the first time in Berlin he fought in Oberhausen and Cologne. But Berlin is the first time now. So when they gave the call and they said Berlin to you, what was your reaction? Wie so reagiert, als es hieß Berlin? Ja, ich habe mich gefreut, weil das ist jetzt wieder hier in Deutschland. Ich mag es gern immer in der Nähe von zu Hause zu kämpfen in Deutschland oder Europa. Das, deswegen habe ich mich sehr gefreut. Yeah, he was happy at his hometown and he really likes to fight in Europe or close to his hometown. So he was really happy. Uh, and Tell us a little bit about your experience in your last fight. You fought Conor McGregor in Boston. How was that whole experience for you? Ja, das war interessant. Es war halt ein bisschen anders als jetzt oder als, anders als meine anderen Gegner, weil das war jetzt auch ein Main Event. Da gab es viel mehr Aufmerksamkeit. Ich musste viel mehr machen, viel mehr Pressearbeit, viel, ja, viel Stress halt mit dem Gegner auch vor dem Kampf. Ähm, ja, aber sonst ist es okay. Jeder Kampf, also ist Kampf wie jeder andere. It was interesting. Um, he had more to do actually with the media, with all the promotion ahead of the fight. But in the end it was a fight, like all the fights, but everything around it was just a whole bunch of stuff to do for him. But it was interesting. Yeah. And what is he taking away from that loss going forward now? Bist du drüber hinweg? Ja, ich habe ich hab in der Lage vergessen. Ich konzentriere mich jetzt auf den nächsten Kampf, auf meine Zukunft und versuche jetzt halt das Beste daraus zu machen. Yeah, Connor is the past. He's now looking forward to a bright future. So, looking forward to obviously Karajiri that you're fighting this Saturday. What do you think of him as an opponent for you? Ja, Karajiri is a very dangerous opponent. I have a lot of respect for him. You can't forget him. He has a lot of experience, a lot of fights. Ich bin aber gut vorbereitet und ich denke, ich werde einen guten Kampf machen. Und vor allem hier in Deutschland, ich muss den Fans einiges bieten, versuche ich einen, einen der besten Kämpfe abzuliefern. He's well prepared, but he's trying also to give the fans the best fight ever. Um, he has a lot of respect for Kavajiri, he's a well-rounded fighter, he came, yeah, fried, right? Fried UFC has felt all was strike for the thing, so he's a lot of respect for him. He's dangerous, but he will give the best. And you're both very experienced fighters, but you have more fights in the UFC, so do you think that gives you an edge over him? Weil du mehr UFC-Kämpfe hast, glaubst du, du hast auf durch den Vorteil? Ich glaube nicht unbedingt, weil er hat auch schon bei so großen Veranstaltungen gekämpft wie Pride, Strikers und so weiter. Er hat sogar mehr Kämpfe als ich. Und deswegen ist es jetzt kein ausschlaggebender Punkt. Man darf ihn trotzdem nicht unterschätzen. UFC oder, oder was anderes. Kampf ist ein Kampf. Deshalb ist es, denke ich, kein Problem für ihn. Uh, he doesn't think so because Kavajiri has fought on the biggest shows as well. So it's not the edge that he has fought more fights in the UFC. He thinks it's pretty even in terms of fight experience and stuff like that. So he kind of underestimated him. And what kind of weaknesses have you picked up on Kavajiri? Seine Schwächen, ne? Ja, also ich denke, dass er etwas langsamer als ich ist und uh, dass er nicht so viel Power hat wie ich. Und ja, den Rest werden wir einfach im Kampf sehen. He said he thinks that Kavajiri is not that fast on him and not that powerful and the rest we're going to see on Saturday night. So how do you expect that the fight will unravel on Saturday? I expect a very action-reichen Kampf. Es wird viel passieren. Wir werden beide Gas geben und mein Ziel ist auf jeden Fall den Kampf vorzeitig zu beenden. Both fighters will give the best. He will definitely give the best. Kavajiri hopefully as well. Um, he's trying to finish the fight earlier. And how exciting is it going to be in Berlin for you, hearing the crowd behind you? It's very exciting, because there will be many famous friends of mine in the viewers and friends of mine, friends, so the pressure is very high, I have to show up good and that's why I'm a little bit excited. It's a lot of pressure on his shoulders, because his hometown, a lot of friends are coming, his family is coming, so uh, he's a bit excited, but in a positive way to give uh, the fans a great show. And how important is this win for you? For what? Again? Sorry. How important would this win for you? Der Sieg. Ja, jeder Kampf ist wichtig, aber der Kampf hier ist besonders wichtig, weil, wie gesagt, ich zu Hause bin und äh, die Fans nicht enttäuschen will. Und die MMA in Deutschland natürlich auch, die ganze MMA-Welt in Deutschland auch. Und äh, deshalb muss ich besonders gut sein. Ja. Yeah. Uh, he has to perform. He doesn't want to 
um, he does want to give the MMA fans in Germany a great show. And of course, in the home country, the pressure is always higher. So a win is definitely very important. We look forward to seeing you on Saturday. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.